enemy resistance and bring victory to our lord.
more noisy interlopers. Let's get rid of them. Quickly! Engineers! Prepare a fire attack! Some damage is acceptable. Stop them! so badly in my duty. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. Lord. I will always follow the path of honor. your advance cold. It seems our usual methods will not be enough. We must look to utilize our siege weapons as well. Oh, 
protecting this place if I have to. I'm not letting anyone through. Hey. Who's you? Hey. Trouble before me. It's impossible for an army to continue fighting on an empty stomach. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. I knew you could do it. Right on, brother. You need me. We must strengthen. If I let you pass here, it will cause trouble for Tsao Tsao. I suggest you make it easy on yourself and die quietly. to defeat Liu Bei. Go wild! <laughs> <laughs> 
Survive one final charge. Those will have broken through the Cao Cao forces' sea. We must all make it to Jing Province together. Resist and intercept the enemy. We have to stop them here. Guan Yu! I also mean your beard!
Shake me off that easily. How did I let myself be defeated? I will remember this humiliation when I'm standing over your body at our next encounter. Cao Cao will pursue us no further. Fine work, everyone. On you. I am so glad to see you're alive. So very glad. I apologize for worrying you so, brother. You should be sorry. First you get captured, then you disappear. Zhang Fei, I owe you a debt of gratitude for keeping our brother safe. <laughs> Don't mention it. I'm just doing my job. And who might you be? My name is Zhao Yun. Master Liu Bei has been good enough to take me into his service. He's pretty handy in battle, brother. I see. I am delighted to see another fine warrior in our ranks on whom we can rely. I am blessed by so many talented comrades, and yet I myself have still achieved nothing. Worse. My own foolishness has forced us all out of our homes and into the wilderness. I bent my knee before Cao Cao. But that was out of a desire to stay alive, so I might one day help you realize your dream, brother. We must all be grateful that we have our lives. We must not lose sight of our goal and march onwards. Thank you, everyone. But we cannot simply afford to wander the land aimlessly forever. It is my intention to ask for the aid of Master Liu Biao of Jing Province. Jing Province has been relatively untouched by the chaos of war, and Master Liu Biao is my kinsman. I have faith that he will welcome us with open arms.
I will ask you one more time. Are you sure you want to come serve me? Absolutely! And I won't take no for an answer. You're my new boss, Master Guan Yu. I've made my decision, and I'll follow you to the ends of the earth. Very well. Then our pasts matter not. What matters is our futures, in which we will join forces to fight for my brother. I had no idea that you were really a follower of Master Guan Yu. I must apologize for doubting you earlier. From now on, we are comrades. I look forward to fighting alongside you. Oh, uh, yes! It would be an honor. What's the matter? Why are you acting so formal and nervous? Uh, well, I'm just finding it a little hard to shake the memory of his spear in my face. Spear? I mistook Zhao Tseng for a bandit and was about to fight him. But before we could do battle, he ran off at remarkable speed. Ha! Huh. Well, that can't be helped. Anyone who doesn't know Zhou Tseng would naturally assume the worst from looking at him. Hey, boss! That's a bit unfair. I've changed my ways. I've pledged to fight under your tutelage and make myself into a true warrior. Yes, I have high hopes for you. On you. Forces of Cao Cao defeat the armies of Yuan Chao at Guandu. The Yuan family loses momentum and eventually is wiped out. Cao Cao is now the closest to gaining control of the entire land. Elsewhere, Sun Quan has inherited control in Jingdong following the death of his brother, Sun Ce. His force, however, cannot compare to that of Cao Cao. Liu Bei has yet to find a land and is currently taking refuge with Liu Biao in Jing. He has given Xin Ye to govern, but he has practically no force of arms. This is truly the age of Cao Cao. I must apologize to you both. Guan Ping, Zhou Tsang, you have come to serve me, and yet, my own failings have forced a life of homelessness upon you. With things as they are, I cannot give you the hospitality you deserve. I hope you will be prepared to wait a little while longer. Ha <laughs> Don't be ridiculous! I get to spend all my waking hours with you, boss! That's more than I could ever have asked for! I feel the same way. If I get to fight alongside my magnificent father, then I can handle any mere inconvenience of circumstance. It seems I owe you both my thanks rather than my apologies. Let us work together to support my brother's grand vision and bring an end to this age of chaos. Brother, Cao Cao's forces have already arrived. And they appear to be arranged in a formation I have never seen before. Hmm. How shall we handle this? There's no point in wasting time thinking about it. Let's just get in there. Um, I'd wait a little if I were you. That is the Eight Gates formation. 
If you attack without proper preparation, you will meet a sticky end. But if you know where to strike, it can be a most fragile formation indeed. Um, Master Leo Bey, would you mind awfully if I took charge of things here? May I ask, who exactly are you? Who do you think you are suddenly appearing out of nowhere and asking to be put in charge? You expect us to trust you? Ha! I suppose it is natural to be suspicious. I would be if I were you. Master Leo Bey, my name is Shu Shu. I make my living devising plots and plans of a military nature. I am a strategist. Huh. I've never heard of anything so stupid. You call yourself a strategist, do you? How do we know you're not an enemy agent sent to confound us? Ah, well, you've got me there. How can I prove that my intentions are good? I suppose I could help you out of the jam you're all in. I don't like this guy's attitude. I say we turf him out, brother. Wait! I must admit that I find this man's actions suspicious myself, but... Somehow, I do not sense any ill intent within him. I cannot afford to allow Cao Cao's forces to defeat me. Will you help me overcome him, strategist? Master Leo Bei, I would be glad to. You will not regret this decision. Everyone, follow Shu Shu's directives. If you work together, you can overcome Cao Ren. Breaking the Eight Gates formation will be no easy task. Listen very carefully to my instructions. It would certainly help our cause to have a siege weapon or two, but I hardly think the enemy will willingly hand theirs over. Gates formation. That may indeed be an impediment to our efforts to overcome the Eight Gates formation. Thanks, 
should remove the enemies from near my castle. I will always follow the path of honor. It is my duty to defend this place. I won't back down to Liu Bei's forces. I can't hold them back any longer. Or send in any reinforcements like this. That takes care of the enemy forces in front of the castle. I'm feeling better already. I will always follow the path of honor. Amazing! Master Guan Yu! I also mean your beard! supposed to attack. Follow the path of honor. Then it is time to unleash the fire. This should keep the enemy from annoying us unduly. <laughs> location to attack from will be over there. 
We need to transport the weapons to that spot. Ready the weapons! Give Tao Tao's forces a taste of what we can do! How did Leo Bay's forces get those weapons? We have to destroy them. We failed to destroy their weapons. That puts our own ones in danger. We're gonna secure the area! One of our weapons has been destroyed. What's going on here? Nobody can defeat the Eight Gates Formation. This is where we knock aside your pathetic little attack! The formation is complex and almost organic in design. Attacking a single point is useless. It will be repaired immediately. We can either take down the strongest officers, or break it down gradually from the weakest areas. We must decide on a policy. The enemy's tongue. That's never stopped me before. You think you can just walk in here like this? Crush you. Soldiers holding shields and those with arbalets. They're tough. What's more, they're found adjacent to a variety of other units. It will be extremely difficult to break the formation. We really need to strike with everything we have. Begin the attack. All going well. You should be able to destroy the enemy's siege weapon. I see. You seem to have some strength. Advance! Join the attack! You think you can just walk in here like this? Crush you! Soldiers holding shields and those with arbalets, they're tough. What's more, they're found adjacent to a variety of other units. It will be extremely difficult to break the formation. We will need to strike with everything we have. We cannot afford to lose this position! I shall personally see to its defense! Somehow we managed to overcome my ironclad formation. To leave me no choice but to take to the battlefield myself! The enemy's tongue! That's never stopped me before! The enemy has revenge. They are attacking our weakest position! Spears! Weapons unit! Advance! You're in the palm of Lord Sauron's head. Shields! Forward! Siege weaponry unit! Keep firing! We managed to repel Cao Cao's forces. This is all thanks to you, Shu Shu. You have my gratitude. I'm just glad I was able to. But be warned, Cao Cao will not give up just yet.
It is hard to believe that we could claim victory over Cao Cao's colossal army with so few men. Yeah, we haven't had a win like this in ages. I've got to say it feels pretty good. This victory is due to the commitment you all showed and to Shushu's strategies. Well, it's really thanks to the faith you showed in me, Master Liu Bei. Not many leaders would appoint an unknown entity like myself as their strategist. And my faith in you has been proven justified. There will be no problems in convincing everyone to cooperate with your plans going forward. Shushu, will you consent to joining our army and fighting with us again? I could ask for no greater honor than to be appointed strategist to one such as yourself. And I would like to accept without hesitation. But... What's the matter? Is there some problem? The thing is, my mother is very ill. She is in Shu Chung and is being looked after by Cao Cao's people. If I stay by your side any longer, I fear that she will be in danger. I see. That does make things difficult. In fact, I should have never really helped Master Liu Bei at all. But I met him and found myself drawn to his greatness of spirit. And before I knew it... I am a weak man. I am not strong enough to abandon my mother to her fate and serve you. You mustn't be so downhearted. Why not simply come back to us once your mother's condition improves? Master Liu Bei, you are too kind. But I cannot accept your offer. The fact that I cannot turn my back on my mother is a fatal flaw. It makes me wholly unsuited to the role of strategist. What are you doing? Now you're just bringing everyone down. Yes, I'm sorry. I should never have come here. So, am I to take it that this is your final decision, Shushu? Master Liu Bei. May fortune favor you, Shushu. I will pray for your mother's speedy recovery. Thank you. Before I leave, I must give you a parting gift. It is the least I can do for you. Here in Jin Province, there is a genius known as the Sleeping Dragon. His name is Jugo Liang. And he is a far more accomplished strategist than I am. I suggest that you arrange a meeting with him. The Sleeping Dragon, Zhugaliyan. Master Liu Bei, allow me to ask you one thing. Amongst this chaos, tell me what do you fight for? I want a world without tears. A world without sadness. I've come this far wanting that, yet not doing anything to achieve it. My thoughts run ahead, but I can't see the path that I must take. Master Zhuge Liang, please, show me my one true path. The only path I can show you is the one that might lead to heartbreak at times. Faced with that and with suffering, can you move forward? without turning aside. If it leads to the world that I want. I can see how much this means to you. Then? I, Zhugo Lian, will give my life 
To help you achieve your desire, Master Liu Bei. On you. There is currently no army in the land which can match that of Cao Cao. No one can hope to defeat Cao Cao alone. The second most powerful force is led by Sun Quan of Jiandong. His army is no match for Cao Cao's, but he has a solid base in Jiangdong, populated with loyal followers. In order to take the first steps toward the land you dream of, Master Liu Bei, we must develop enough strength to stand alongside these two great forces. But as you know, Zhuge Liang, I have no home of my own. What you speak of is impossible. If we can secure a land upon which to stand, and allow your grand ambition to gather more followers, then there is every chance it could happen. Cao Cao seized upon a faded moment in time, while Sun Quan used the power of a land base. For you, my lord, the key to drawing the people to you is in your virtue and benevolence. You must walk the path of righteousness. Once you have begun, we will join forces with Sun Quan, and together we will oppose Cao Cao. The path of righteousness. That is the road for me. Your words have cleared the fog from my mind. I see clearly now a vision for the future. Allow me once more to formally request your help. Will you guide me as my strategist? Help me defeat Cao Cao, and enable me to build a land of peace. I will. I pledge to use every ounce of my mental acuity to support your grand ambition, my lord. Zhuge Lian, I am putting you in charge of our forces. You must lead us safely out of this crisis. Very well. I will find a way to repel Cao Cao's forces. Wait just a minute, brother. I can understand why you want to rely on a strategist, but we don't know anything about this guy. I don't feel comfortable with him ordering me around. I must say that I feel Zhang Fei has a point. It is one thing for him to propose a strategy, but another matter entirely to entrust the command of the entire army to a newcomer. Guan Yu, Zhang Fei. I trust Zhuge Liang. I ask that you comply with his orders. Very well. Thank you both for understanding. Now, if you will allow me, I would like to explain the plan. The enemies outnumber us significantly. In order to overcome this deficiency, I intend to overcome Cao Cao's forces with a fire attack. Huh, you really think it'll be that easy? Give him a chance, Zhang Fei. Victory will be impossible without your help. I hope you will give your all for our cause. The pursuit of Cao Cao's forces. Hey, get on in here. Come again. Coordination between the various units will be the key to victory in this battle. Everyone. I ask that you follow my directives. Lin! 
Athena. Rise up! We must shield Master Liu Bei and drive these enemies away! Halt! The enemy is on its way here! Take defensive positions! Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. Trouble before me! Lord! You performed great as always! There was no need for my strategy! Another victory in the name of my brother. I will always follow the path of honor. <laughs> 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 